Both hands go on top of the boken. Then you kind of squeeze both hands against each other. Do not cut like hitting the same point over and over again. Instead, aim a little ahead and bring the sword back to your center. During the transitions in Shiho or Sengo, make sure that you keep the sword close to your body and that you bring it to the back of your body before cutting. For Irimi, make sure that your defense doesn't block your view so you can still see what's going on around you. In terms of your stance, you need to adopt a Sankakutai or triangular position with both feet. For Shiho Omote, you are blocking a Yoko Menuchi attack on your right side and then you deflect all the way down to counter attack with Furizuki. When you block, the cutting edge of your sword should be pointing to the ceiling. For Shiho Ura, there's a particular footwork that allows you to deliver a powerful upward cut called Yaku Keza. In this initial cut of Kaiten Yo, the cutting edge of your sword is pointing to the floor with a little bit of an angle to cut the opponent's neck. In this transition, make sure the sword goes right above your head to get to the other shoulder. When you push the attacker's sword with this movement, the cutting edge of your sword points to the inside, to your right, and the non-cutting edge to the exterior, or left. While pushing, make sure the tip of your sword is pointing at your opponent, while the handle of the sword is in the outside doing the deflection. 